having a nice day. What do you mean by that? Like, mm, oh, COVID. Yeah, okay, okay, interesting. I hit 2400 and lose a couple in a row and then delete it. I understand, but why did you delete the account? What's the point of deleting the account? So if you delete, you have to start from 1500. What's the point of doing that? You can start from 2300. That's much better, I think. What's the point of deleting the account? Anyways, the tournament is starting in uh, 27 seconds, so... Yeah, I know, I know. He's, he's pretty strong. Everybody's playing today. It's a very stacked title Tuesday. 366 players. Hopefully we break the, the curse of the first round. I always lose the first round, so let's see. We got a Brazilian NM. We have to win this game. Like, we got this. Let's go, let's go. We got this one. Polo GA. Let's go Knight of 6. Play E6, maybe bishop B4. He plays the Catalan. Let's check and play bishop B7 back. Okay, let's not return. Let's castle. Play C6, maybe here B6. Getting rid of that bad game in my game history, probably. I mean, everybody has those games. I have worse games on my profile. Okay, let's trade all this. Uh, usually it's not good, uh, giant galt. Usually two pieces, especially in the middle game, two pieces are much better than, than rook and pawn. But in end game, usually rooks are, are kind of matched for two pieces because of their, their activity. This guy is playing well though, putting in a lot of pressure on me. Like, I always lose the first round, so I don't care about this game. This is, this is a loss for sure. Let's go queen c7, let's go rook b8, maybe c5. Mm. Let's play bishop back, maybe rook b8 and c5. want to activate pieces somehow. Okay, now I want c5, and if I can get in c5, then I'm fine. Okay, he's spending some time over here, which is good to see. I think I have rook f d8, just winning a tempo on the queen and controlling the uh, the open file. Now I can play c5 and suddenly my position looks good because his bishop on f4 is kind of badly placed uh, behind its own pawns. And also I have like control over the open d file and more solid pawn structure. So I think black is slightly better here. But still far from winning. Um... Bishop f3, he wants to capture back with a queen, but then I can go here. Maybe I can go here actually right away. Let's see. Oh wait, I also have the idea to take and play g5. Which is interesting. But let's not do that right, right away. Let's play rook d4. Cut the connection of the queen to the pawn, and now maybe g5 is a nice idea to try and win this pawn on e5. But still it's a little bit sketchy because it weakens the position of the king. Hard to read 78 again. I mean, definitely it's not something I can consider because I have many things in my account, like coaching profile, like streaming profile. I can't delete my account, so... I don't even think about it. Let's go queen d7. I'm threatening to play rook d3 and win the bishop. Definitely he's gonna see that and take. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Can't say, like, can't generalize actually, I think. Let's go rook d7 back. I'm also not a Soviet player, so I don't know, like, what do they teach in their schools. But yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe I feel that, but I'm not sure. Let's go queen e4. I think I can play queen f5 here. Yeah, I agree, I agree, but not all of them. I ha I faced some very aggressive Soviet players as well, like from Russia. Wait, do I have rook d3 here? 
This game is very tough. Like, always the first game is the toughest game for me in Title Tuesday. So let's try to focus. It's in computer science. Uh, wait, check and take. I think he blundered this. So now we're going to win a pawn. And now we are, we're cruising. Let's take. If rook d2, I can even take and take on c4. Wait, I can take and take on c4, yeah? Yeah, I can just take and take on c4. There's bishop f8, just guarding everything. You obviously can take this, but then I can go queen b4 and then just guard everything and hit the pawn on b2. No, I don't have a PhD. I'm studying towards it. Um, queen d4, mat check. Yeah, queen d4 is just crushing here. We hit the queen and also hit the pawn on f2. Um, this should be pretty, pretty uh, should be over pretty soon here for for my opponent. Okay, just trades and now I'm just two pawns up and that should be should be a pretty smooth win. Um, I think I can just start defending my pawn. Just bring the king over to to the middle. Just check. Now we put the bishop back to e7. King is coming to d5. a6 with everything on the light square. So he just resigns. We get the dub. Let's go. First win of the tournament. Um, always, uh, always very tough because I'm not warmed up yet. So very important to get that first win. And um, that was a pretty smooth win as well. Like I just got two pawns and converted like gradually. Let's check the game actually. Let's learn something as well. Um, 87 accuracy, pretty good. No blunders. One miss win actually. Where's where the miss win? Oh, here. I think it was g5, yeah? Yeah, exactly. I saw the idea. That's good. I saw this idea with bishop f3 and g5. But I was like, this is kind of sketchy, like for blitz game to open up your king. So I was about like playing more positionally and try to try to win like more smoothly, which, which actually happened in the game. So can't complain and um, managed to win in the end. I think that was a pretty, pretty good game. I'm happy with it. Um, what about the opening? I, I really like to see this opening. So against this line, apparently I have to play something like c5 or dc4. C6 against this line is kind of kind of sketchy after E4. I have to study this. Like I was kind of having a bad position after the opening, and I was sensing it. So in Knight BD2 line, mm, wait, do we have opening book over here? Wait a minute. Where can we see the opening book? I don't know, FCBB. Maybe like three years. Yeah, I mean, here probably, like, based on what I see, I should take. Should take, and now I'm good, because, like, what if 95? 95, I can take this. Yeah, this is just GG, okay. Never mind, so DC4 is a good move. Anyways, let's get back to the to the tournament. Now we know that we should take, not play solidly. When will we finish Masters? Very soon. Like, probably, like, in a couple of months. Hmm. So let's see whether we face a famous legend or not. I think I'm gonna face somebody around uh, around like 2800 though. Somebody around 2800 is expected for me. Thank you so much, Omit Hendrix. So, a lot of players at 1 out of 1. Let's watch some games, by the way. Any famous... Let's watch Fabiano. Wait, this is not Fabiano. Wait a minute. Fabiano drew against the uh, Fide Master. Jeez, Louise. Didn't expect that. Fabi drew knight versus knight, which he was actually pressing. But, yeah, this is a draw because then just, just knight g5 and win the game. Wow. Fabi, Fabi with the... Uh, with a point drop early on. Any other games going on? Let's watch. Who should we watch? Let's watch Dimitri Goldsev. Somebody was referring to him. He's losing a game here against the 2300. Actually, this guy is very strong. Like, I don't know how he's the 2300. 
I played him in the uh, in the other title Tuesday, and I think I won or lost. I think I lost to this guy. Yeah, I lost to this guy in the other title Tuesday in the first round, and he's very, very strong. Like, I don't know how in the world he's like 2300. Reveal your secret to balancing streaming, master's degree, and also OTB tournaments, Kusha. Uh, so the thing is that when, when the things get intense in your studies, like, there are deadlines, there are exams, you don't want to go to chess and streaming, but when you're done with them, when you focus on the exams, you finish them strong, you finish the deadlines, meet them, and then you're free for a couple of days, then you can work on your chess and go to tournaments or like stream more. That's how I do it. Let's watch Gawain Jones. This is the last game. So... Who's playing for the win, by the way? Black is playing for the win? Jeez, Louise. I mean, white is a pawn up. Why is white not playing for the win? Because black is a 2800. Um, let's see who will win this. I think Bishop is just so poor. That's why white can't play for the win. White is just keeping on offering a draw. Why are you doing that? I mean, it's clear that black is trying for the win. So you should, you should keep going. So your next camp is quite far away in the future. Yeah, I don't have any exams at the moment. I'm working on my thesis, so not not, not many deadlines, not many exams at the moment, so I can't I can't stream quite a lot. Okay, this game is still going on. Now black offers a draw, or what which white accepts, and now the second round is gonna start. I'm gonna have white in the next game, which is pretty good. Let's see who are we gonna face. Give me a softer pairing. Oh my goodness, we got a Rina Jumabayev from Kazakhstan. Let's go, let's go. This guy knocked out Fabiano in the World Cup. This is a very strong player. Let's go knight f3. b3 and bishop b2. Okay, let's play the uh, standard stuff that I always play. Play c4. Fix the pawns. Maybe d5, maybe d6. Let's see what which line he plays. Let's castle and play d4. If d5 I take and play d4 still, I, I'm studying computer science, yeah. Let's go d4 and takes. I'm already getting a lead on the clock, which is pretty good to see. Let's play knight c3, maybe d5 ideas, maybe takes. Are NMs, from your experience, averagely weaker than CMs, Kusha? Um, the thing is that if a CM... It, if you compare CMs who got there by getting to 2200 FIDE, yes. Because 2200 FIDE is harder to harder to achieve compared to 2200 CF, uh, USCF. But there are some CMs which get their title like on under childhood. Like by winning an under 10 tournament and stuff like that if you also consider that cms in your in your, in your comparison then nms might be stronger in general but if you compare cms with 2200 fide then they are definitely uh definitely tougher most of the time of course there are nms who can just beat me very easily but never mind let's focus so what should we do here? Should we close the center or should we keep the tension? I think it's a good idea to reroute the knight to c2. Really want to defend my pawn and also prevent the knight from coming to b4 here. Let's go knight c2 and take. Very complex position at the moment. The center is gonna get blown up here maybe. Let's take. Mm, now I like my position actually. He's gonna get this IQP maybe here in the future. I just has to I just have to stop him from pushing. Maybe rook c1 can't be a bad idea. Yeah, I know, I know. There are there are some FMs like that. Maybe bishop a3 trying to create a pin over here. Now my knight is kind of misplaced on c2 to be honest. It doesn't prevent anything so I think I should reroute this to f3. 
The pin is still there, so he can't take on d4. So I think it's a good idea to get the knight back to f3, maybe to e5 next. So for now, let's keep going like this. Redeploy the pieces. I'm still up on time, which is pretty good to see. Uh, okay, what is his plan? He, I think he wants to push, yeah? He pushes, then I can just take and play knight e5 maybe? Should I take this? I think I like to play against the hanging pawns like that. Maybe not. So takes, takes here. a6. Uh, still don't like that. Knight is kind of misplaced here now. So maybe I should reroute this knight as well. Let's go knight e1. So the idea is to reroute my knight and also open up the rooks to the open plan. And it also prevents c4. Goes knight e4. Let's play, play here. Still holding things together, nothing nothing special in the position. I'm trying to take maybe to trade the bishops. Let's take. Take and I try to take the bishop here. Now these pawns look a little bit weak. Maybe I can attack them. Maybe knight bd2 here. Maybe knight fd2 actually. But knight fd2 just backs. Let's go knight bd2 here. Kind of blocks my rook though. Maybe I should not have done that. Let's go, maybe knight f1, queen b2 coming next, trying to fix these pawns somehow. Knight is really misplaced on f1, I don't find good places for my knights, they're kind of blocking my own pieces. Knight on f1, the good thing about knight on f1 is that it at least doesn't block any of my pieces. He's also going a little bit low on time, so maybe I have some chances to win this game. Let's try to focus, this is mine. Let's go, let's go, d4. Can I just take? Wait, can I take with a knight? I'm gonna take with a pawn. I don't know. You might take with a bishop. Okay, I, I saw that coming. Now, the thing is that if I take with a queen, then there's knight b4, which is kind of annoying. Um, but if I take with a bishop, knight here, queen e8. He has this and king g2, maybe knight h4 trying to disrupt my pawn structure. And maybe he's gonna go knight h4, yeah I saw that. Should I go king here though? And the king is gonna come to h4 which is kinda sketchy. I'm gonna take and play knight e3. Let's see, I, I can't attack these pawns I think. My pawn structure is a little better on the queen side. And he's got no time, which is pretty good to see. Let's take. I got like double stacks in, in both files, which is not so good to see. Let's go here. Maybe rook c1. Put some more pressure here. Now I think I can... I think I can take and take. He's a little bit better here, though. My pawn structure is not good. How can I, how can I stop him from winning? Maybe knight b5. Knight b5 there's rook f2. Let's go here. Trade the rooks. Let's play f3 maybe. Consolidate my structure. It's a hard position to hold though. With time scramble. Unfortunately. Let's go here. Maybe king, king g3 if it gives a check. Let's try to move faster. Faster, faster, faster. Um... He attacks my pawn, which is kind of unfortunate. Let's go here. Mm -hmm. Let's play rook a2 maybe. In back. Let's go here. Here maybe. Okay, don't see any discoveries which are dangerous. Let's 
Let's go 94, 96 maybe. Don't know what's going on over here. Check. Let's take. Check. Come on, come on. We got this. Here. Check. Here, King G5. Holy smokes. Check. Check. Here. Push. Here. Push. Push. Check. What am I doing here? King up. Get him out of here! Let's go! Let's go! Get the dub! Two out of two! That's a nice one! That's a nice one! We get the dub! Get the big dub here against the GM! Let's go! I was defending that endgame, but he just blundered his piece like in time scramble. I managed to win the game! Two out of two! Let's go! We got some, some energy over here. That's a good start to Title Tuesday. I never went two out of two in Title Tuesday. That's the first time. So we get the big W here. Thanks so much, X David, for the for the follow. Naka next. I don't think I'm gonna face Naka that soon because because usually how Swiss system works is that they they divide the the, the table in two pieces and the first player in the first piece is gonna face. Uh, yeah, the, this guy, this guy is, uh, this guy has knocked out Fabiano Caruana in the in the World Cup. This guy is very strong. He's like champion of Kazakhstan for like many many years. Very very strong player, definitely. I don't think I'm gonna face Naka here. I, I think I'm gonna face somebody around 2800 again. Hopefully, it's a softer softer pairing which I can beat. Let's see. Let's see who are we going to get here. Got a GM from Scotland. And we're white again. Who's this guy? Maxim Matlakov. This guy is not from... This guy is 2700. This guy is a super GM. No, I'm not Armenian. I'm uh, I'm Iranian. Let's go B3, which B2. This guy is uh, Maxim Matlakov. It's not a Scottish. He's, uh, he's a Russian famous grandmaster. Let's go Bishop B2 castle. He's like 2700 Fide. He's a very good blitz player. So this is going to be a tough game. I'm trying my best. Queen c2 maybe. Bishop f5. Bishop d3. Let's go queen c2 and bishop d3. Maybe h3 stuff as well. He's got e5. Wait, I have this move. I'm happy to trade those bishops. So he wants now a4. Can I go e4 here? I think I can. And I should. Let's go e4 and trade. That was epic night routing. I mean, that wasn't probably objectively the best, but it kind of let me play play better, like in time pressure. Let's break the knuckles. Let's focus on this game. Okay, he wants to keep the tension. He wants to double the rooks and then take on b3. So what can we do? Um, so one idea is to play rook fb1, and if rook goes here, I can push b4. So now the tension is uh, is not there anymore. If he goes b5, I can just take and win a pawn. So b5 is a dangerous threat. If I can get b5, then, then I might have some problems with the d5 square here. Wait, can I push and push? But no, I don't like this. So now he wants b5 seriously. Maybe moving the bishop back. Just getting it out of the file. Um... Okay, I need to be speeding up a little bit as well. Five or D5, I don't know. Come on. I need a move. Let's just go back. I don't know. Just keep an eye on this pawn as well. And now still B5, I can take and take Queen D5, I think. Although it gives away the D5 square. It should be 2 to G5. Uh, was a good idea, yeah. I agree. 
But now let's focus on what we have at the moment. Let's go here, maybe B5. Wait, B5 takes... It's kind of annoying. So what should we do? Maybe Rook A B1 first? Wait a minute. Let's go here first, defend my pawn. Do I have Queen D3 stop? I think I do. Then how is he going to stop me from taking that pawn? Let's go Queen D3 can't be that bad. I'm threatening to take on A3 now. This pawn can become a weakness actually. Can I maybe triple stack here and try to win it? I don't know. Maybe B5 takes a Rook B5 stuff? I think that looks pretty interesting to me. Um... So maybe take some play bishop c3. Now getting the bishop back into the action. Hitting the knight. If knight g4 I have bishop b4 to try and block the, the bishop. Um, what is this? Ugh. Mm -hmm. Knight g4 maybe. Yep, this is kind of looking sketchy for me now. Let's just defend. This bishop has been shuffling around a little bit, but still I think I'm holding things together. Not a big problem in my position yet. I can push like this, kick the knight away. And now he wants to move the bishop and hit my pawn on c4. So what can we do? Maybe bishop c3 first again. Like again, I go here, hit the knight. This bishop is just shuffling around here like in e1 and c3. Ooh, did I miss that? Yeah, I did. Because if queen c4, there's bishop f2. So let's take this, try to utilize the open position of his king. Let's see, do we have any fascinating moves here? 95? 95 takes rook g3? What's going on over here? Okay, never mind. I'm, I'm not going to spend that much time. Let's go king h1. I don't have time to go into these crazy lines. I wanted king h8, queen h5, and then maybe some... I, I, don't, I think they never work. Long variations, wrong variations. Um, let's play... Okay, this is still, like, worse for me, for sure. This king is wide open, though. I think I should go here. So the idea is to defend my pawn in f2. And but defending the pawn in f2, I can kind of move my pieces away. This is a very good move by him. Now my queen is just... Yeah, I think I'm going to lose this game. He played it well. Dude, I'm losing. I, I can't play fast because I'm going to lose the game on position. You, you, you guys don't need to tell me that. I know when to play fast and when to not. This one I'm just losing. What can I do? The position is hard. That's why I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that'd be 3. Rook B1. Yeah, he has it. Here maybe? Still not so easy. Wait a minute. King up. Knight c1, knight, rook c1, knight b2. Defending somehow. That's a good move too. Um, yeah, I'm going to lose this game. I, 100%. Okay. He's winning all the house now. Basically. Basically winning all the house. But you see panicking a little bit here. Wait a minute. Do I have a4 trapping the rook? Whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, there's rook b3. The rook just runs. So I think I just have to take on b2 with it. But I have some chances. Wait a minute. This is interesting. Wait a minute. It's getting spicy over here. Okay, that's a good move by him. Oops! I got no time. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this. It was clear from start to finish.
Okay, let's just resign this. GM can win, of course, with three more pawns. Hey, tough game, tough game. This guy is good. What can I do? Hello, chess boss. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Masud is at three out of three. Wow. Doing a very good job here in the tournament. He's a, he's my friend, former under 18 world champion. Hess is three out of three. Who else is three out of three? Rustamov is three out of three. A lot of Iranians are three out of three over here. What is my boy Hiki doing? Hiki is playing. Uh, Hiki is losing. Jeez. Now we, we really might get Hikaru if he loses. If, he, if Hikaru loses, we might get Hikaru. Maybe he doesn't play that much online. Yeah, he should be. Not 3,100. 3,100 is Hikaru, but uh, maybe 3,000. Hikaru lost. Jeez. And I am beat Hikaru here. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's just a big upset. Now we might face Hiki, actually. Now we might, fa might face Hiki over here. Ahmad Zada is losing against uh, Valentina Gunina. Take MGG. Wow. Which other games do we have? Let's watch. Let's watch my boy Dennis. Dennis is, is on the back foot here. He has some problems to hold. I think he's not going to hold this. This is a very hard position to hold. The knight is rerouting to f5. Yeah, this is a very, very tough position to hold. Like, the knight is just so tricky and he can move around forever to put more pressure. But he's kind of doing very well. He's dominating the knight with a bishop. Okay. This actually reminds me of the game uh, Amin Tabo Tabai against Pantala Hare Krishna. When the knight kind of restricts the king uh, with a pawn. But then when you want to abandon the pawn with the knight to win the, win the g5 pawn. Then black is just in time to return. I think it just reminds me of their game the World Cup. Uh, how to pronounce Dennis' name? Dennis. Dennis. I, I, I think I, I pronounced it like this. That actually reminded me, like, with a knight on d5 and a pawn b5, it reminded me of the game in the World Cup between Pentala Hare Krishna and, uh, I mean, Tabo Tabai, which was a very nice game. You guys should check that out. That's that's exactly the same theme over here. Um, I can show you that game, actually, afterwards. It's exactly the same thing. Like, literally the same thing. Lazavik. Denis Lazavik. Yeah, he's gonna hold this. Just as Amin Tabatabai did against Pantala Hare Krishna in the in the World Cup. Yeah, just take him taking f6 and it's a draw. What is he doing? It's not hard. Okay, the only game going on here, yeah? Is it the only game? What is White doing actually? Definitely not gonna not gonna win this. Yeah, five maybe. Just take the take the knight and draw. A lot of people are guessing the moves over here. So now we're going to get the, the round number four. Let's try to, to be strong here. Oh, we got an FM. Power, power Wrangle. We didn't get Hickey. That's sad. I, I wanted to get Hickey, actually. I really wanted to get Hickey here. Is Masu 3 out of 3? Yes, he is. Let's go with the Karo. Play Bishop F5. He plays this line which Carlson played against Firuzja recently and gained a lot of popularity, which, which wasn't that popular before. It usually was played with h4 and h5 included. Let's see. Uh, let's play... I think I should just play knight g7, maybe bishop back and knight f5. As I said. Problem is that this pawn d4 might become weak in some lines. Maybe here, here, long cast on putting more pressure. Uh, 
You're facing one symbol invitational match? Like Masud, you mean? Yes, I did. And I beat him. Not in a match. It was one game. It was... Uh... What do you mean by that? I don't understand you anyways. Never mind. Stay here. Once knight d6, maybe I can just push. Hit the bishop. The problem is that now my pawn is not on h5 anymore. And I can just play solid like this. Maybe knight b6, maybe long castle and put more pressure on the d4 pawn. I think I'm getting a very good position over here. Whoa. Whoa, what is this? Am I missing something? Who's that? Yeah, it's a very long time that I got it. This is my like seventh title Tuesday. Don't you think that Magnus playing style is actually very balanced between strategic and tactical, like 50 50 basically, although he's given most credit for being positional? Yeah, of course, for being the world champion, you need to be, uh, you need to be uh, good at all the styles. Because if you're bad at tactics, for instance, Everybody is going to complicate the matters and you're going to lose the games. Magnus as a world champion needs to be uh, needs to be very strong both positionally and tactically. Like if he's not the best in any of them, somebody's going to exploit his weakness. But yeah, because because he's stronger than anyone, it makes sense that he plays positionally and tries to not risk that much. It's completely understandable the way he plays chess because he's simply stronger than everyone. So I think I can double the rooks. Then play queen b4. If I can get in all this, then it should be gg very soon. I'm already up a pawn. Wait. Okay, the knight is guarding the rook, unfortunately. So if I go queen here... Wait, he, do he doesn't threaten anything. So let's just keep going with my plan. Now he's threatening something, actually, with bishop e6. So need to be careful. Maybe knight h5. Or maybe queen b4 takes. Takes, takes, rook d4. I don't want to go into complications to be honest. Let's just play bishop f5. Why not? Play bishop f5 and keep everything solved like a boss. And then he doesn't have anything to do. Do you think your fellow Iranian Firuzja is probably better than Tactics and Carlson? I don't know. I, I, I'm not in the level to compare these two, I think. Like, they're m both much better than me, so I, I, I think it's none of my business to actually uh, talk about and compare compare the two. They're just simply on different level for me to, to comprehend uh, their difference. Play Queen B4. Threatening to take the pawn over here. What's your le peak leeches rating in bullet? 2770 or something like that. I'm already on my peak at the moment, so my current rating is kind of similar to my peak in bullet. Okay, he's got no time as well. I think I should be able to win. What? Doing some weird moves in this game. Can I just take that? I don't see any compensation here for my opponent. Just take, I guess. Should be GG very soon. I'm up a lot of material. I also have rookie four, which is a very nice move to play. Yeah, let's just play rookie four. He can't take with a knight because the rook only one hand. So he has to be forced into a passive position. Now I just guard everything. Queen g4 coming next. Should be gg pretty soon. Uh, don't hang my rook. Very important stuff. Let's go here. Queen g6 I can just take the bishop of course. So he goes there and now... I think I'm just going to return. Consolidate. I mean, I'm up a ton of material. I'm going to give up this pawn to him just to consolidate my position. Just rookie one. Trade more pieces. 
I also got all the time in the world here. Let's play knight e5, trade more pieces. Should be GG pretty soon. Okay. Let's go. Okay, let's just push the d-pawn down the board. Can't be that bad. Just push the d-pawn. Queen e2 coming next. I mean, queen e2, uh, maybe not. Let's see. Let's go queen e5. Maybe queen f6, actually. What am I doing? Why am I spending that much time? Let's go queen f6. If takes, then queen d4 coming. Wait, queen d4, much check. Yeah, queen d4 just wins. There's no way he can stop losing the bishop, and he should resign. Get the dub, three out of four. That's that's good. Let's go, let's go. Doing a very good job over here. Three out of four. Uh, let's watch some games. Let's watch our boy Hickey. He already finished his game. I think he did. So let's watch somebody else. Let's watch. My prize is also three out of four. Maybe I faced him. I really like to face him once in Title Tuesday. It will be interesting. Oh, let's watch our boy Maxim Matlakov, who, who beat us. Who is the only one who beat me. He's actually winning his game here. Against uh, Valentina Gunina. But it's a little bit tricky still. It might be Rook and Bishop versus... Uh, what is your peak score in title Tuesday? It's 7 out of 11. I didn't play that much. I played maybe like 5 times. But the best score that I got was 7 out of 11. Okay, let's see whether Matlakov wins this or not. He might become a Rook and Bishop versus, uh, versus Rook. I can I can tell you that. And if it becomes Rook and Bishop versus Rook, this might be the, the longest game of this round. So, I think he has to be able to win this. Now this pawn is hanging. There's no Rook B6 because of... Wait, the Bishop was hanging. Okay, now this is definitely... This is definitely not going right for uh, for Valentina here. Even if the bishop sacks itself for the pawn, I think I think the rook and pawn game is going to be winning because this king is just so far away. It's going well. I'm three out of I'm three out of four, doing pretty well here today. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, Matlakov, Matlakov is uh, blundering here. Wow, this is going to be a draw now. This is a draw. What did he just do? He just hung a bishop. What was that? He played rook c7 and straight up hung his bishop. Jeez, Louise, just king e1, king e3 or bishop f1. Stopping the pawn. What was rook c7? Hanging the bishop. Make these mistakes against me, not, not against others. Uh, what else do we have? Let's watch Ben Lee. He's a friend of this channel. He's uh, doing a very good job pressing for a win against the GM here. And I think he's going to win because... Now the bishop is very well placed, just stopping the f3 break, and this is just resigning, yeah. Ben Lee gets the dub. Yeah, I know he had like one second, I understand. But still, hanging your bishop is kind of not the best idea to do in the position. And what else do we have? Anyways. Many people had 4 out of 4. Let's see. Let's see who we face. So, who's 3 out of 4, by the way? I just want to check. I don't think I'm going to face Hickey. I think I'm going to face somebody around... Wait a minute. Let's update the board. There's going to be a 6-minute break here. So, who are we going to face? Somebody around 2800, I think. Stanon, I know. I know him. He's a very, very strong Grandmaster. Ben Lee is also very strong though. He's an IM, but but he's he can't beat anybody on, on his best day. Let's see who are who are we gonna get here. Maybe we get uh, I think I'm gonna get somebody like Ruth Makarion or Grigorio Parin or like Maxim Shigaev. I wish I get Hickey, but I don't think I'm gonna get him. Fabiano isn't doing well today, two and a half out of four. So I'm higher than Fabiano, which is a very good achievement. I think I might face Gala Kamsky actually. Or Masud. Masud is a possible possible pairing. Or I might face Rustamov actually, which is gonna be funny. Um 
Yeah. Currently I'm in the 45th place, which is pretty good. 3 out of 4 is a very, very good score. I just lost to a Super GM, so... Pretty good performance till now, but let's try to keep it up. What is Kusha on? Um, I'm, I'm at 3 out of 4, Righteous Master. Are, are you also playing? Righteous Master. Don't have volume on because, because I'm in Skull. Hmm... Okay. So, since he doesn't have volume, I just answered him in the chat. Anyways, who who do you guys think I'm going to face? Hopefully, hopefully I get a beatable pairing and I can get like 4 out of 5, which is going to be insane. This guy is also doing very well. This is a very strong IM from Iran. Um, former Iranian under, uh, sorry, sorry, former world under 10 champion, I think. He's a very talented player, which actually didn't play chess after, after some days. Hikaru, I don't think I'm going to face Hikaru, I, I guess. Jigalko is more, I, I think I'm going to face somebody around like 2884 or something. Like maybe Sam Chessmood or like, or like Galakomsky. I think I'm going to face Galakomsky, actually. Losing to Matlakov and beating Renat clearly shows the difference between 2750 GM and 2650 right. And not actually like this, because on the other day I might beat Matlakov and, and lose to Jomabayev, so it doesn't show anything. But of course there's a lot of difference between 2750 and 2650. But this difference is not defined by my games, because in, the, in general they should be able to beat me like in a match. But against any of play any of these players, I have a chance. If if I play my best, I have a chance to to beat them, and also if they blunder, of course. Anyways, try to wait for the game to start. Let's see. The six minute break has started. Blues main live chess games will resume automatically. Um, break almost over. Probably yes. Maybe like three minutes, two minutes remaining. Two minutes remaining, I think. Mm. So... Who else should we face? Let's see, let's see. Again, this Russia Ukraine Ukraine conversations I'm gonna start in the chat. Um anyways. Might face through Stamov actually, or Bank Chess. Bank Chess is a good opponent, I think. He's a very strong FM, but I beat him like in the uh, in the Bullet Championship, Bullet Qualifiers, in a very nice manner. So I have a chance against him. I also beat Rustamov in Title Tuesday, so I have chances against these guys. Might face GM Nixon. Is he streaming, by the way? Is Nixon streaming? No, he's not streaming. He's playing. Oh, he is streaming. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. Let's focus on... Are you with Russia or Ukraine? Um, I, I'm not going to talk about politics here. I, 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 I'm, I only like the, this war to be over and more lives to... Uh, more lives to, to, to be saved. Like, I, I just want this to finish as soon as possible. But I don't want to talk about politics on stream. This is really not my thing. Is that an actual question? Only freaks like Karyakin are with Russia? <laughs> I mean, yeah, but but like, I, I'm with I'm with the the end of the war. I just want I I don't even follow that like what's the situation. I'm I'm not into politics in general. And I don't want to want to concern my mind about the stuff that I can't do anything about. But I really like this war to be finished and more more lives of the human beings being saved um, as we go on. But I don't want to follow like in detail and just concern myself with, with all the details that is happening in the world now. And uh, 
I just hope that everything goes well and we return to a normal situation. Lafong with Nixon last week title three. Lafong is very strong. Is Lafong also playing by the way? Is Lafong playing? He's not playing, looks as though. Looks as though Lafong is not playing. We'll do the 5 p.m. title Tuesday. Should I actually do that? Like usually on 5 p.m. I play worse. Like usually in the mornings I, I play much better in title Tuesdays. And second one I play terrible. Oh, we got bank chess. I, I call it. Let's try to play bank chess. That's a nice game to try and win. He's very strong, but he's beatable. He's an FM that is doable. We can do that. Okay, let's play C5. Playing my own lines against me. Interesting. Didn't know he's gonna go for this one. But let's play. Let's play knight c6. Maybe a6 stuff. Okay, he goes d4, which is a good move. Um, yeah, I'm just keeping on. I'm just gonna keep on developing here. Wait, I can take, I can play e6. I think I play e6 here. Hmm. Wait. Should I take this first? I think I should. And then take with knight d5. Because if knight d5 right away, then there was knight c6, and the pawn structure would have been kind of shattered here. But I think this is the best idea to, to do this. And then maybe queen d5 even. I mean... Yeah, but okay. Let's take with a knight. That was a terrible move by me, by the way. Like, I had to take with a queen. What was knight d5? Now he has e4 and take the queen. Let's see, let's see. Still not done yet. Wait, can I take? I'm not sure I want to. I'm gonna take. Hopefully everything goes well. Let's take and... No, I'm kind of in a worse position to be honest. Let's play. Let's play f6 e5 maybe. Okay, let's play f6 king e7. I have a shelter for my king on f7 at the moment, so maybe that's the best way to go. But the problem that I have in this position is my lack of development here. These bishops don't have enough squares. So maybe king e7. Yeah, let's play king e7, king f7. That was a long two minutes, exactly. Maybe here, here. Wait, here, here, here. Takes, takes. I think it kind of holds. I mean, I'm definitely worse here. I gotta develop, otherwise it just, just curtains very quickly. So I have to develop here. I also have an idea. Like here, here, takes, takes. Bishop f3, bishop c6, takes. I cannot take, like, play rook c8 maybe to, to try and try and win a bishop like that. But this is a good good order by him. Maybe rook c8 first now. Rook c8 hitting the... Let's play rook c8, hit the bishop. And now we can play bishop c6 over here. So bishop c6 check here. Wait, takes here, takes. I'm, I'm gonna go for it, see what will happen. I got no time. Wait, just takes. I think I'm gonna take that and play king e8 to, to guard the d7 square. This is kind of getting sketchy for me though. I'm a little bit concerned. Maybe king f7, but then, yeah. Maybe rook here, rook here. I really don't like my position over here. Uh, what should we do, though? Still have to fight. We are a fighter after all. I'm going to give up this pawn and try to, try to play with activity here. I think that's the best way to do. We activate the king, we activate the bishop. 
to try to find enough time to play over here. I also have bishop a3 check maybe. But then he just takes on rook c3 and then rook b6 and just attacks all the pawns. I don't know. Let's see what he plays. This is the first thing to, to watch out for. Maybe I can play b5 if he doesn't take. Okay, he takes. Understandable. Now, I think I can play bishop d6. Maybe rook hc8 and try to penetrate the second rank. Maybe here I guess. Hit the bishop. Interesting, interesting. Getting some ideas here with rook c2 and bishop a3. Maybe putting the king on the mating net. Getting a little bit sketchy for my opponent. Like if he goes here, I can take and play bishop e5. And then it's not clear how he's going to save his pieces. Kind of sketchy for him. Uh-oh. Getting a little bit sketchy here. Got to spend time and... Uh, not so easy to find a move here. It's not so easy to find. Actually, he has this though. I can't take because there's rook d6. But then I can give check and start mopping up these pawns, which is going to be interesting. Okay, I'm going to take on c3 if he goes rook d3 for sure. I think he's going to go for it. Otherwise, it's just so hard. Ooh, that's a nice move. But now I have this and rook c2. Check. Takes. Like the spirit of the pawn sack. Yeah, I also like that. It was an interesting idea, but who's better in this endgame? I don't know. Maybe rook c2. Yeah, I should just stay solid here, like defending everything. Then activate the king. Let's activate the king to, to e4. That's a good move by him. But now I have rook c2. Hitting both pawns. Don't know what's going on here. Maybe king e5. Yeah, I think king e5 is better stopping the rook from coming here. And then I take. Can I go here at the pawn? Literally don't know what's going to happen next. I'm just going to play some moves. Just take, hit the rook. And now, I think I should start pushing somehow. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Rook e4. Takes, takes. No, I don't like that. Let's just push the F pawn. Down the board. Somebody's going to win this game. It's not going to be a draw for sure. Push. Push. Okay. Let's go King E6, I guess. King E7. Push. Just check. And we win. I think I'm going to win. I think I'm going to win this game. Just check and take the queen. GG. Any still matrix? Uh, here. Here. And I just take. And then d7 is not, uh, not guarded. So we get the dub. Four out of five. Let's go. That was a nice one. I had to just move the king around to take here, not to not to not to let the stalemate happen. But now we get the dog. We move on to four out of five. Very good performance today, um, and we're doing a very good job. Let's go. When we are gonna get Hickey? Let's go. Hikari is also at four out of five. Let's go. Let's go. We, we need some big games here. Lake District, let's go. Who's at 5 out of 5, by the way? GM Hess is at 5 out of 5. He's on fish oil today. Jostrom is at 5 out of 5. Vugara sadly is at 5 out of 5. Who's this NM who's at, like, wow. Polish NM is at 5 out of 5, which is insane. 2400? Wait a minute. Who's 2400? Jeez! Who did he beat? He beat Aryan Tari, Bank Chess, Dimitri CM, 
Gelman and Stichev. Wow, insane. Insane. Unbelievable. You think Ikaru can adopt Magnus if Magnus has 30 seconds to Ikaru's stream? It definitely can, like 100%. There's not even a doubt about that. 30 seconds is not a joke. If it's without increment, definitely, 100%. Not even close. Oh, we got Galakomsky. Jeez. Okay, we got the famous fucking legend over here. Galakomsky, let's go. Play Knight of Three. B3, Bishop B2. Okay. Gonna play the normal double fianchito stuff here. Let's cast one, play knight bd2, b3, queen e2. Same stuff that I always do play. Let's play e3 and queen e2 and uh, a4, of course. Stop the invasion. Um, What can we do? Maybe knight e1, f4 ideas, but the bishop on c5 is kind of annoying. Gonna go knight e1 here, maybe with f4 idea. Goes e5, so I think I should play e4. Try to blunt this bishop on h7. Um, okay, what should we do? Um, that's a good move. Maybe I should return my knight back over here. Maybe just a simple move like h3 and king h2. He's like 50, but he's, uh, he's former world number 2. It's not a joke. It's not simple as that. Let's play. Like his understanding is completely crushing me over here. He's very, very strong. Like he might be a little bit slow. Like if it was without increment, I would have had a chance to flag him maybe, but with increment it's very hard to beat Gala. He's just so good. Gada is also very strong. He's 2670 or something in classical chess. Well, let's try. We are trying to keep solid over here. Not to give away any concessions. You guys can also check his stream. Uh, he's also streaming at the moment, I think. You guys can, can check that out. Uh, he goes b5. He wants to create some weakness here. Maybe he wants knight b6. Try to put more pressure on the on the a4 pawn. Uh, so what should we do? Uh, maybe knight h4. Wait a minute. Knight h4 you can take and then take on e4. Which is kind of annoying. Uh, what if rook f1 simply? Just going to play one move and see what are his intentions. Might actually consider rerouting the knight to e3. That's a very good move. Just blocking all my pieces on the spot. And now he wants knight b6 maybe to put some pressure here. But now I think I can play knight h4. Because the pressure is off the pawn on e4. And maybe I can start like putting my knight here. And trying to create some ideas with maybe g4 stuff. Goes knight c5. Now I can play g4. This weakens the f4 square. But what else can I do? Maybe I should go here by the way. Hmm. Let's play queen f3. I want my queen to support the knight from coming to f5. Maybe I even take with a pawn, I'm not sure, but I think taking with a pawn actually puts more pressure on his position. So I think queen f3 is a decent move to play here. Bishop c3, good move. And now I think I can take and reroute my knight to e3. Trying to get my knight here and try to invade on the f5 square. He also wants this, which is kind of annoying. My queen is almost trapped. Jeez. Queen is almost trapped, so I have to go rook c1 and queen d1. Which is a very passive move, but what else can I do? 
He's completely getting outclassed here, as you can see. He's uh, completely outplaying me, but let's see where we can swindle in the time scrambles. Okay, I need to get my pieces in playing here. Let's go queen f1, get the queen out of the line of the rook, maybe prepare some f4 ideas. I mean, I'm not going to go f4, but he, he has to calculate it every single move, which is kind of making the job difficult for him. Uh, maybe g4. I really like to play g4, but I kind of don't want to. Let's go here and rook a c1. I think that's a better idea. At least this rook is also playing the game. Okay, he wants to take on c2 maybe. But I don't mind that. Oh, he has this. Ah, I'm going to lose this game very horribly now. He has this. Jeez, Louise. I, I should not have allowed that. Doesn't take though, which is kind of satisfying to see. Maybe I should play knight f5 here now. Let's try to trade some more pieces here. Kind of want to bait him to, to clarify the situation. That's a good move by him. Now I take and play knight c4 though. Takes with a rook, which kind of surprises me. Let's go here. Now my knight is pretty strong. Keeping an eye on both pawns. Maybe some queen e2 and hit the pawn. Mm -hmm. I'm down a little bit of a time. I need to speed up. Maybe I can catch him in time scrambles. As you said, he's not the fastest man in the world. He's very strong. But uh, maybe in bullet skills, I can I can have a chance. Let's try to keep solid. Not, not make any concessions. Play bishop g4, hit the knight, bishop e1 back maybe. Okay, come on, come on. I, I need to keep solid. I'm not going to do anything. Just keep going with, uh, with the normal stuff. Just keep everything in, under control. And ask him to show his cards actually. This is what I'm trying to do. I don't have any moves, any useful moves, but I'm just asking him to show his cards. Okay, now I'm going to try and threaten something. Maybe I can take. Maybe I can take and double up here. It's a good move by him. Play f3. Let's go here, hit the pawn. Interesting. Now let's go here, just guard everything. Oh my goodness, the queen is coming to f4, which is not good news for me. Let's go here, knight b6 maybe. Okay. Should have taken the pawn though. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Let's return, take. Mm, come on, come on, knight here. Okay, this is good. Let's play knight e3. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Looks good for me. Mm-hmm. Let's take and go king f2 maybe. Now, okay, he wants to pawn on h3, but we can actually go like this. Push. That was a bad move by me. But maybe we still can win this. Let's go. Let's take and take. Can't take the pawn on c3 next move. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. We got this. Push. Push. Let's go here maybe. Here. Push. Now we just take and we make a queen with check. Check. Let's go! Get the dub! Let's go! Five out of six! Insane! Let's go! Beat Galakomsky, the famous legend! Wow! That was a nice game! I. Wow! Five out of six! That was a very nice one! I played very well in the end game, I think. That was a very nice, nice performance. Five out of six! It's just insane! Doing a very good job over here in Title Tuesday.
That is insane! Holy smokes! Five out of six. I did, really did not expect that. Oh, we got Gregorio Parin. I'm scared. Let's go. Let's play Knight F3. Play B3 and Bishop B2 again. It's working pretty well throughout the match, uh, throughout the tournament. So let's try it against Oparin as well. Let's go here, maybe Castle. Hopefully I can keep it up. Let's slow down a little bit. Try to try to settle the nerves. We still got like many more rounds to come. So let's Castle, takes maybe. Really? Did, did he do that? Or, or, were you watching his stream or something like that? I don't think so. Like, maybe, yeah, I, I don't know. We will check his wad afterwards. Anyways, let, let's focus on this game. This is another game. Very important. Let's take. He can't take with a knight action because there's e4. So he has to go with the IQP, which I really like to play against. You already got a good position. Try to win this game too. Okay, let's play knight f3. Is MRF chess Muhammad Reza? Yes. Why do you ask that? Wow, that's great. That's great. Hello, Udinovich, actually. Welcome to the stream. Udinovich is a famous Canadian streamer, if I'm right. He's a, he's a very strong international master. Let's play... Um, play rook c1. Maybe if bishop a3, I can play bishop b2 back and consolidate everything. Yeah, I played you a lot in the Arena Kings, I think. Like, maybe four or five times. Always a very tough opponent, which I don't like to face. Uh, okay, this position I'm doing very good. I'm also up on the clock. Let's try to keep it up. Let's focus on this game. We're still not done yet in this tournament. We can get some big wins again. Let's play h3. Hmm... Maybe knight here. Wait a minute. Knight here there's queen e5, which is kind of annoying. Let's play rook f1. Just, just wait for him to see, like, show his cards. Just what I did against Gata. Exactly, Italian machine. Gonna give shout out to both of you after this game. Let's try to uh, play good chess here. Okay, let's block. Okay, let's go here. Let's block the, the IQP. And now I think I can play queen here. With queen d6, I have bishop e5 to trade the bishops. Also, I think the pawn on g7, which is kind of annoying for him. Okay, he goes there. Now he wants queen d6, which is completely understandable. What should we do now? Uh, probably I'm playing, yes. This game, what should we do? Let's just return. I don't know. I have no idea what am I doing. Maybe knight h4? Knight h4, there's queen d6. I'm going to go for it, see what will happen. Maybe f4. really don't want to play f4, but I think I have to in order to make some progress. Now queen g4 maybe? Play here, maybe knight f5. Probably will see me, yes. I don't have time to talk about your ideas, Moin, unfortunately. Let's focus on this game. I'm really in a serious mood now. 
uh, try to give my best. Let's uh, play knight g3, takes bishop h7. Knight is a little bit sketchy there. I, I really want to get it out. So if takes then bishop, bishop h7. I mean, he might go knight f2, so let's not pre-move that. Mm hmm Just take. Who's better here? I don't know. Maybe I'm fine. Yeah, I'm perfectly fine here. Maybe queen f3, try and put more pressure on the IQP. Go here, put more pressure. Okay, what should we do? Maybe g4. I mean, g4 is a little bit sketchy. I don't want to make such moves here. So maybe just stay solid. Solid always works. Maybe bishop b2. I'm gonna go bishop b2, bishop b4. Do I have e4? No, I don't. So never mind. Let's just return the bishop. Just, just want to see what he's trying to do. How is he gonna play for the win from this position? Maybe king. Maybe queen e2. Let's just return queen d3. Maybe queen is better on d3 for sure. Uh oh, the rook is coming to the second rank. I don't like to see that. This is kind of annoying, but I have this and rook f1. Maybe rook f2 then, just to consolidate everything. Okay, just guard the second rank. Maybe rook e2, king f2. Okay, he wants to, to fix my pawns. I mean, I think it's better to let him play h4 compared to putting all my pawns in dark square. So I think this is pretty good for me. Uh-oh, my time. Uh, let's just play normally. Wait for him to, to make progress. I don't see any way. Just, just going to wait for him to, to show his cards. Probably wants to bring the king over, but how can he... Break me through. Let's go here. Why you can't play Title Tuesday, Chris? Okay, just gonna wait. Just wait for the... Okay. He's trying to win, obviously. Let's play... Let's play Bishop B2, why not? Ask the Rook to move away. Now we might play Rook C2. Here, just take and check, check, maybe return, just rookie two back, I'm a little bit scared over here, uh oh, this guy is serious, come at me, push, Here, king h2 maybe. I want takes. Takes. Here. No, I, my time. Jeez, I'm going to lose this game. Push. Push. Yeah, he's going to win this. Unfortunately. Just outplayed me, yeah. Good game, good game. Show the class of Super GM here. What can I say?